Hello. So at the moment inside our application, we can uh, upload different files and display them. But what if we want to upload not only image files, but uh, we want to upload uh, audios, videos, PDFs, and also display them in our application. Well, let's try to do it. So I'm going to go to our images where we can upload multiple files. And at the moment we don't have different file validations. So we can try to upload an image, an audio file, and video file, a PDF. Let's try to upload all, the, all of them and see how they are displayed. So we have uploaded the image, the MP3 file. Now we are uploading the video and we're going to upload a PDF. And let's see how they are going to be represented inside our application. Okay. So you see, we have uh, uploaded an image and three other files, and the other files are kind of corrupt. We cannot display them. And why is it so? Well, it is so because at the moment in the code for representing our images, or let's say just attachments, we say if uh, the files or images are attached, then display them in an image tag. But uh, three of the files don't have images, so they cannot be displayed in an image tag. And now we're going to improve this code and make it so that we can also display the audio, video, and download the PDF. So let's say uh, we're going to say not image, but let's say attachment. It is more dynamic. So it post images, each two attachment. And we should have actually named it not just images, but attachments. So uh, image tag for the attachment is going to be an image tag if the attachment is an image. So let's say if attachment.image, then display an image tag. Let's see what it does. I'm going to save the code and refresh. And you see, now we're displaying only the image. We're not displaying anything for the audio, video, and PDF. Let's uh, keep going. So if the attachment is an audio, what do we want to do? Well, we want to have a button to click and play the audio. And for this, we're going to use the regular uh, HTML5 audio tags. Now, if you go to any HTML5 documentation, you will see that any browser supports uh, the native uh, audio player. So here, for example, I have an in-browser audio player where I have all the main controls for an audio and I can listen to audio. And how do we make it work? So we would need to add an audio tag Let's try to do it. So if the attachment is an audio, we are going to have uh, audio with controls and we are going to have uh, a source. Now, what is a source? You see, at the moment, it uh, is not going to work. We have no uh, source. Let's uh, add this source. Now, it should be a link to the attachment. So kind of a URL. And we're going to say equals rails blob URL. And inside we will have attachment. Something like this. And let's refresh and see if it works. Okay, there was a syntax error. Let's see. Yeah, I should have said else if. So else if it is an audio, then we have this. Now let's see, and now we have the audio player. And it plays the music that I have just uploaded. So it works fine. And you see the type can also be dynamic. So here we are going to set the uh, type. It doesn't usually have to be only an MP3. We can uh, set the type based on the uh, current format of this MP3, of this audio. So let's say equals attachment. And it's going to equal the attachment dot content type, something like this. And let's see if it works. So I will refresh. And it works. And basically, this is uh, all the code we need to display audios inside our application. And we're going to do something very similar for videos. So else if attachment is a video, 
Then we are going to have a video tag. Now going to some kind of HTML5 documentation, we go to video. And here we also have uh, a tag for videos and let's add it. Now the difference between a video tag and an audio tag is that a video tag also has uh, some default width and height. I will uh, try to make it work and see. So first we will also add this uh, link. So the path to our attachment to our blob, whatever. Let's see if it works. Okay, so we have an image, we have an audio and we have a video. And you see, it doesn't look really nice. So the sizing of it, um, to make the sizing look nicer. I will just set a default width without setting a default height because it uh, just isn't proportional. Okay, and let's try playing the video. Hello, here's an application that I'm really proud of making. So this is a okay. school management app. And you see my face is also moving there. The audio works, uh, the image works. So it seems to be working fine. And that's basically three file formats that we have already added. And let's say uh, for PDFs, we want to have just a link to download a PDF. Well, if we go to, to the active storage uh, uh, documentation, we'll have uh, uh, some documentation on displaying images, videos, and PDFs. And here we have an example of having a link to download a blob, a file. So let's uh, also use this. So if it is not an image, if it is not an audio, if it is not a video, then we are going to have uh, another option. So else, and in this other the option, we'll have a link to download the file. Now. It's going to be a link to, it will need to have a name. So it will have attachment dot file name. And the URL is going to be rails blob path. And here we're going to have not file, but attachment. Okay. And this position attachment means uh, download. Okay. And you see here we have this file. So if I press this file, then you see it starts downloading the file. So works well. And what have we done now? We have uh, made it so that inside our application, we can display different file types and it works really nice. Now, of course, this code uh, does not look perfect and it's a lot of logic uh, inside our view, but you can always move it to a partial if you like. So thanks for being with me and have a nice day.